Hello everybody. Uh, I'm testing a little power supply uh, that is supposed to be used for a 3D printer. It is rated uh, hopefully to 350 watts, uh, 30 amps uh, and uh, it's readily available on eBay. So what you see here is um, uh, the um, connection to the AC. I use 110 volts here in California, of course, and don't forget to switch this uh, little switch to 110 because it will arrive uh, switch to 230 volts and that's not good to use it uh, with the wrong settings. So uh, the wires uh, go like this, the uh, live wire or hot wire as we call it here is black the neutral wire is white and there are convenient markings here let me shift this little lid here uh, so you see the connection the six remaining terminals here are allocated for plus and minus of course it's 30 amps and the terminals uh, um, well they are designed for around 10 amps each uh, the idea of testing is actually to see if it will hold a uh, reasonable uh, current. I'm not going to load it to 30 amps probably, but I will test it around 20 amps. Okay, and now we have the power supply connected not only to the 110 volts AC, but also connected through a, a little adapter to a voltmeter and ampere meter and it's actually a very nice device and it is rated very highly to 100 amps and 60 volts and it is used to measure the output of the lithium polymer batteries for RC models and such. So uh, currently it shows 12.21 volts, 12.27. I mean there is a little bit of fluctuation, I can measure it uh, later. And uh, now I have a nice uh, connector here to connect my load and the uh, uh, meter will show the wattage and the amps uh, that are taken by the load from the power supply. Well, uh, here is that same power supply and the same uh, meter, but now it is connected to two burned out, or oh, at least half burned out, um, headlamps from my car. Each headlamp is uh, consuming 5 amps, uh, uh, at 12 volts it will be 60 watts and uh, uh, when I turn this on uh, they will be uh, of course uh, activated, they will be lit and uh, I will just uh, let them hang like this so that they are a little bit further away from the combustible stuff. So I'm turning the device on and you see the 10.52 amps and the power supply is holding 1266 1279 volts really really well so that's uh, very good at 126 watts of power it's probably the maximum that it will ever consume so you will see the uh, brightly lit uh, lamps so 126 uh, watts is about a third of what it is rated for. Uh, 30 amps, 12 volts, now it is consuming third of that power. 10 amps at 12.6 volts. Well, uh, same power supply uh, and it is connected to the power and voltage meter. And now it is connected to a spiral uh, made out of a wire, just a regular garden wire, so many uh, feet. Um, 
and it is in the water because the wire will otherwise heat and will not keep the constant resistance. So this uh, contraption gives us 30 amps and let's see how it goes. Uh, now I'm turning on power and you can see 29 amps and the voltage is 11.97 volts. That's actually fantastic. I mean that uh, half volt uh, can be uh, actually dropping on the wires between the power supply and the meter itself. So uh, as you see it keeps 29 amps uh, pretty well and uh, I'm not seeing the water boiling yet but trust me in about uh, 5 minutes it will. It's um, uh, 300 uh, something, 340 watts uh, going through this wire and it's hitting the uh, water of course. Uh, well, uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't try it at home. And uh, I really like this power supply. It holds very well for the purpose of building a 3D printer.